Hey, it's me again, Jerry with Kiss and Makeup. You guys are so lucky you're getting to see me twice in one night, but I actually wanted to get on and, and tell you a couple things that I forgot. And um, it's been, we've had several new members join our group and I've had sold a lot of kits lately. So I thought it might be good as a refresher of how to remove your lip scents with Oops Remover because sometimes people just put it on really quick and, and then wipe it off and think it should come right off, but it's actually bonded to your lips. So it's gonna take a little bit to get off your lips. So you have to have a little bit of patience. So I'm just gonna go over what I do in order to get mine off. So first of all, I just did this, um, the Coralina and She's Apples. I, I take a cloth, I use a Norwex cloth because that's what I like, and I make sure that all the gloss is off, and I kind of rough it up a little bit. This also kind of exfoliates your lips. So then I'm gonna take my Oops Remover. Hi, Natalie. Welcome. Uh, and my last Oops Remover had all of the pigments settled down to the bottom. I just got a brand new bottle open. This is my first um, refill since my last Oops Remover, since when I started the company back in December. So it, um, it has lasted me, it's July now, seven months, which is pretty good. The thing I go through the fastest is the gloss, because I love gloss. So I'm gonna try to prevent getting a bunch of color in my oops this time. So I'm actually just taking the wand, putting it in the oops, and instead of putting it directly on my lips, I'm putting it on my fingers. And we're just gonna let it sit there for a minute. Now, usually during this time, it's already started to come off a little bit. Can you see on my fingers? Usually during this time, I will go and get my pajamas on, get a couple things done, you know, whatever would take a couple minutes. I don't just sit in front of the mirror and, you know, wait for it to come off because I'm a busy lady. So I will go and get stuff done. Let's see, what can I talk about while we're waiting? Oh, the limited edition colors. Now, if you liked one of these colors that I applied, you want to make sure to snag it up because limited edition means that once they're gone, they're gone. So they could sell out and then you wouldn't be able to get them anymore. So make sure that you get your hands on one if you loved it. Okay. You want to kind of move your lips around to loosen it up. I feel like I need a little bit more oops, just a little. Again, see? It's a coming off. You wanna remember also, the darker the colors, it may take more than one um, application of the oops to get it off. Now, my cloth, as you can see, I just wiped my fingers on there, and it's got a little red. This is already kind of damp, and I'll just go over my lips. And it should come off. You can't talk. Off. Now, for me, this is totally fine. It's just kind of stained a little bit. I really don't have anything left on my lips, but some people like it, you know, like have their lips completely look like they did before they put on any color. So they would they could do another coat if this color kind of bothers them. But I think it's kind of pretty. And go to bed with stained lips. So that's really how you remove your lip scents in a nutshell. Remember, the darker the colors are, you may need to do that more than once with the oops remover. Make sure you let it sit on there for a couple minutes to soak in, work your lips a lot, and you shouldn't have a problem removing it. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a message and I will talk to you later. Bye.